Welcome to Synagogues of Israel, part 36. This is our second and final look at the Jewish houses of worship in the Tzfat area of Israel. Tzfat is near the Yom Kinneret, or the Sea of Tiberias, as it's called in English. We're looking at Kiryat Breslev. The Hebrew sign here reads, Beit HaKnesset HaGadol. This is the large synagogue of the Breslev Hasidim. But it's more than just a synagogue. It's a complex that holds not only the synagogue, but a Talmud Torah, an elementary school, a yeshiva katana, a high school with boarding facilities, a children's nursery, and living accommodations for the members of the community. And there are about 120 married men studying in their kolel. The name of the synagogue here, which can be faintly read, we believe is Chalmani Alush. We don't know if this is who the synagogue was named for, or any other relevant information on it. The sign on the portal here reads, Beta Kne The line below it reads that it was named after Rabbi Chaim ben Atar, who was also known as the Or Chaim HaKadosh. He was born in Morocco, made his way to Israel, but first stopped in Syria for a while, and he is buried in Yerushalayim, or Jerusalem. He had come to Israel in 1742. The name of this synagogue is Beit Naharai. The Gemara or Talmud says that it is possible that the famous Tana of the Mishnah, Rabbi Meir, may have really been also Rabbi Naharai. Meir is the Hebrew way of saying gives out light, and Naharai could possibly be an Aramaic version. This synagogue is named Beit Knesset Levi Eshkol. Levi Eshkol was the third prime minister of Israel who passed away in 1969. The name of this synagogue is Beit HaKneset Al Shem Rabbi Sasi Kohen Sazal. That means that it is named after a Rabbi Sasi Kohen of blessed memory. The Hebrew words on the stone wall read, Alume Azizi, which would possibly mean the Azizi Hall. We conclude our look at the Jewish houses of worship in Tzfat. We're sure that there's others, but we don't have information on them. So it's on to another location in Israel. Bye for now and see you real soon.